Good evening, I'm Jeff Glore, and we're going to begin here tonight with the divide over the national anthem. There were new protests last night in week one of the NFL preseason with more games tonight. Players taking part say they're protesting racial injustice. President Trump tweeted his opposition today saying, be happy, be cool, find another way to protest. Stand proudly for your national anthem. One of the games tonight is at MetLife Stadium in New Jersey, and Jerika Duncan is there. As NFL players returned to the field, so did the protest. Some linked arms. Others, like Eagle safety Malcolm Jenkins, raised their fists. I know there are a ton of people who look to us as motivation. And a few took a knee, like Dolphins wide receiver Kenny Stills, seen here with teammate Albert Wilson. Being a part of this protest hasn't been easy. Um, and, you know, I've, I've, I thought I was going to be by, my, by myself out there. And uh, today I had, I had an angel with me uh, with Albert being out there. President Trump waded into the fray yet again this morning, tweeting the NFL players are at it again, taking a knee when they should be standing proudly for the national anthem. The, the protest during the national anthem has raged on since 2016, when former 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick refused to stand to spotlight police brutality and racial oppression. President Trump said this last September. Say, get that son of a bitch off the field right now. Out. He's fired. Some say the president has politicized a cultural issue. Fans are divided. This is about family and tradition and fun and having a good time. I wish they, if they don't have a platform, the president or the players, they can do it elsewhere. I understand why the players are kneeling. It seems to be getting blown out of proportion. Um, in May, the NFL told players still, they uh, must stand. But nearly two more, months later, the league meeting. decided not to discipline players who protested anyway. Dallas Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott has been criticized for saying he refused to participate in any protests. No, I never protest. I never protest during the anthem, and I don't think that's the time or the venue to do so. So, uh, Jerika, well, we're entering year three now of these protests. Some have called to boycott the NFL. Has, has there been an impact on the NFL's bottom line? Well, it's been mixed depending on how you look at it. You know, last season, television ratings were down, but overall, revenue was up for the NFL by 5%. Overall, again, the NFL and the Players Union are working on a solution. They say that they hope to have it in place by the start of the regular season. Jeff? Okay, Jerika Duncan outside one of tonight's preseason games. Jerika, thanks.